All right, thanks, Carly. Looking forward to talking to this guy right here. Have you ever had mommy guilt? Well, we found one dad who has. Meet uh, dad blogger Rich Bracken here. He's uh, talking to us about his blog here because you offer a unique perspective. Tell us, um, first off, tell us why you wanted to start a blog. So you, the one thing that I wanted to do was really put a lot of inspiration and motivation and positivity out there because we know that it's, there's the reverse everywhere now. Um, and I constantly inspire my friends and try to put the positivity out there to them and they just said, why don't you start a blog? Why don't you kind of make this a bigger thing? And so EnrichYourSoul.org uh, was born and so I've got the social media channel and the website and the blog and I'm um, starting a video series too. So uh, it's, it's, it's just my, my effort into uh, sharing positivity with the, with the world. That is so cool. Now you got to tell us how you felt when she KC featured one of your blogs on their site. So I think uh, all of us can admit that anytime uh, a woman thinks anything a man says is intelligent is, is a flattering thing, right? <laughs> Especially yes. when you're being, you're being very, very humble. Mm -hmm. And so She KC Lifestyle, which is uh, Brooke and Jenny, two good friends of mine, uh, it's a phenomenal female blog in it town. It is. And you know, it's everything women, but to be picked up as a dad and have the voice heard from a dad's perspective was incredibly flattering. Um, so some of the people that have reached out since then, it, it's just been overwhelming to hear it's nice to hear a dad step up and say, hey, look, this is not easy. And this is, this is probably one of the best blogs I've seen just because I've not heard a, a man or a, a dad voice that humility. That is great. So let's, get, let's talk about this blog sure. here. Um, it caught their eye. Um, on, and, and specifically, you were talking about mommy guilt. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the night that gave you the material for the blog that was featured there. Sure. So uh, my, my wife and I have two sons, uh, a four-year-old and a four-month-old, and it was two months in. Um, so our, our, our baby was two months old, and it was my first night alone with the boys. And you know, my wife had a girls' night out, and so I got this. You know, I'm fine. It, <laughs> no problem here. This is going to be a piece of cake. And the punchline to this whole story is the end of the night. Um, where I was laying in bed and I had one hand reaching over into the, into the crib of my, my baby holding the pacifier in his mouth and I had my, my three-year-old in my arm covered in graham crackers, spit up, sweat, <laughs> everything you could imagine. I was a mess. And so when my wife walked in and she said, how was everything? I said, let's go downstairs and talk about it. <laughs> because it, could be, and it, it was, it was, I wish it was one of those, one of those nights that you wish you could give a million dollars to have the video footage. Mm -hmm. I'd pay, I'd pay a million dollars right now to have the video footage of my house that night because it just went, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Mm -hmm. um, but it was, it's, it was that humble feeling of, I want to be able to provide for my kids and take care of my kids and have them feel safe. And you're really just trying to keep it together the entire time. It's so true. And so, you know, by the end of the night, the fact that I actually had them both asleep and I was asleep as well because I was exhausted <laughs> uh, was, was a win in my book. Isn't it amazing how moms can make it look so easy? It's, it's shocking. <laughs> and, and, you know, I think it's, it's like anything else. You, you look at something and it seems really easy and those that, that are really good at it make it look really easy. And then when you try it, it's like ice skating for me. There's no way. And you know, it's, it's just, it's so shocking how easy they make it look. Where do they come up with the patience? How do they just manage to just keep, it, keep their cool and just, you know, go with the flow? I don't know how they do that. I don't know, but if you can bottle it up and sell it, <laughs> I'd, I'd buy that too. Uh, great to meet you, Rich. Congratulations you. on Thank the blog. You. I appreciate I'm it. I'm going to go follow it right now, and you can read more on Rich's website. It's enrichyoursoul.org. Uh, you can also find him on Facebook, which is where I'm going to find him. Are you on Twitter also? I'm on Twitter and I'm on Instagram, and I also have a brand new Spotify channel as well for inspirational music. Rich Bracken, great. Great to meet you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Nick.